Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimetre using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Right, so I think this is the second chapter. Um, I think I'm going to play through the entire game. Oh, I've got... Oh, where should I go? Guys, what should I do? Oh, why would there be a crossroads? Um... Let's go this way. Because I think this is a more obvious route. So let's go this way for now. And then we'll go back on ourselves. Let's take the path. Ugh. Ugh. I think this is a path. Eh. Was talking about, uh... I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anaesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Oh shit. So I'm guessing there was like a car accident. Um, which was, um, kind of discussed in the actual review of it. Well, the description, I should say. Saying that there was a tragic car accident. So, and it probably happened on that road that he was talking about. Oh, God. Well, um... Someone should have really cleaned this up. I mean, it's not very nice, is it? Well, this island kind of reminds me a bit of um, it's the ones in um, like Wales. I don't know if any of you have been to uh, any of the places in Wales. I can't really um, remember whereabouts it is, but. Um, Cardigan Bay has islands a bit like this, things like that. I think it's South Wales, I think. A lot of Pembrokeshire and places like that, it's all very pretty. I do like There it. must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Um. Okay, so if we went through the hole. What is this? Don't know. That's weird. So someone's dragged. Hmm. Strange. Um. Well, I'm not going to investigate the bottom of the boat because I'll end up drowning again. No, I'll probably say come back. Um, I can't, I can't get over there anyway, so I can't jump either. So I guess we're walking all the way back. <laughs> wow. Um, this is going to be a lot longer than I expected. Let's go up here, because we haven't been up here. And then we'll go back down there and around the cliff. Very 
very windy. Um, is this right? I think this is right. Find out once I get some dialogue. When I Oh, I thought there was a fence there. <laughs> wow, uh, that could have been bad. Oh, I've begun to climb Oof. away from the sea and towards the center. It is a straight line to the summit where the evening begins to coil around the aerial and squeeze the signals into early silence. The Bothy squats against the mount to avoid the gaze of the aerial. I too will creep under the island like an animal and approach it from the northern shore. Oh God, what the, what's going Right, so... I have to wonder, is he a poet or something? The way that he's talking? Um, oh, the Bothley was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalised into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. Oh. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Oh. It's really sad. All this horrible stuff that's been happening. Can can I come into his house? Three cormorants seen at dusk. They did not land. This house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents: my camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly, famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. see where I was before? That's the other side of the cave where I looked out and there should be like a big pool. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that has to be it, really. Oh wow, this, this is massive. It really does remind me of where I used to go on holiday when I was younger as well. Oh, he left his body to the medical school and was duly opened out for a crowd of students 21 days after his passing. The report is included in my edition of his book. The syphilis had torn through his guts like a drunk driver, scrambling his organs like eggs on a plate. But enough definition remained for a cursory examination, and, as I suspected, they found clear evidence of kidney stones. He's likely to have spent the last years of his life in considerable pain. Perhaps this is the root of his laudanum habit. Although its use makes him an unreliable witness, I find myself increasingly drawn into his orbit. They what found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. He'd struggled halfway down the cliff path, perhaps looking for some lost goat, or perhaps in a delirium, and expired. 
curled into a claw right under the winter moon. Even the animals shunned his corpse. The mainlanders thought to bring it home unlucky. Donnelly claims they dragged it to the caves to thaw out and rot. But he is proving an unreliable witness. It's really grim. Wow, this is just... This is deep. This is pretty dark. I thought it was just going to be, you know, a kind of nice experience, but no. It's horrible. It's just... It's, it's some of the stuff that's happened here. It's just awful. It's like hermits and guys with drug habits dying and just... weird how everything's really run down as well, like there isn't a single normal house. I find it kind of disturbing. Oh here's a, this this was a boat. I just find this really bizarre. Oh my god there's a cave. So Am I, like, trying to find a place to Climbing die? down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Oh my god. What am I meant to go down there? I don't think I want to. Oh my god.